Hey everybody, it's Mr. N here, and we are going to do another optimization problem. This is the barn problem. You will see this quite often. This is another classic optimization problem, and it says a rectangular fence is to be built along the side of the barn. This one has a little twist to it. Normally the ones you see give you an amount of material to use. This one's a little bit different, so let's take a look at this. The fence must contain a total of 100,000 square meters. Oh, so this time we have what it can contain. We're not given anything about how much we can use, what dimensions would require the least amount, so we need to minimize, of fencing if no fence is needed along the side of the barn. So here's what this is saying. We've got a barn here, and we've got some fencing that we're going to enclose along the side of the barn. And we want to minimize how much we use, but we know that the area in here must equal 100,000. So. Let's see what we got. We know the formula for the area of the barn. If I call this the length and I call this W, we know the formula for the area is going to be length times width. We know the perimeter. The amount of material I use will be here, here, and here. So I'll have 2W plus L. That's the amount of material I'll be using for this. Now, we know that this is 100,000, and I'm going to want to minimize this one. And why am I minimizing this one? Because that's the perimeter which gives me the material. So that's the equation I'm looking to minimize. So let's go ahead and solve for a variable and substitute it into another. And in this case, I just went ahead and chose to solve for L. It really doesn't matter. So we're going to say 100,000 over W is what L is. And we'll plug it into here. So the perimeter is 2 times W plus 100,000 over W. Now we have this equation that we need to minimize. Let's look at a domain. The domain, well, I can use everything for the width or I can use everything for the length. Well, this is kind of odd. W can go from zero all the way out to 100,000. I can have a very infinitely small length and all width, but it can't equal it because then I don't have any dimensions there. It's dimensionless. So the one thing about this problem is I don't need to now take these endpoints into account because it can't ever equal those. It can't be zero. If W is zero, I'd have all length, no width, infinitely small, can't happen. So I wouldn't have any dimensions there. So in this case, we're just going to solve the problem straight up and I don't need to worry about the bounds. All right, so over here, let's go ahead and take the derivative of this. So P prime is going to, and I could say P prime of W if you wanted to change it at this point, but P prime is going to be 2 plus, now this is going to be, remember, W to negative 1, so I'll have negative 100,000 W to the negative 2. So let's clean this up and write this as 2 minus 100,000 over W squared. Okay, at this point, we can go ahead and set this equal to 0. So we'll set this equal to 0, and we'll solve. So I will end up with 100,000, one more 0, over w squared. If I move this over, and that equals 2. So we end up with w squared equals 100,000 over 2, which gives me the square root. Now, I'm not using the negative because we don't have a negative dimension of 50,000. All right, so what does that come out to be? Well, W comes out to be, and I'm going to tell you to test this to make sure it's a minimum. And yes, when you test this equation, you do get negatives here, you do get positives here, and this is you're testing it in P of W. And this ends up being a minimum. So W ends up being uh, the square root of 50, 50,000, which is 223.6068, and this is meters. And now we plug it in, and we find the length, and our length, and we're going to plug it into, it doesn't matter which one, but we'll plug it in and find our length. Our length ends up being 447.2136. Now, one thing you should notice, this is meters as well, this... Just knowing our shapes and how to maximize and minimize, this length should be twice the width, and it is. So that's just something you should kind of notice off the top of your head uh, just by doing enough maximization, minimization problems that this answer is correct, and that's just me mentally checking that. So there's our length and there's our width. That would produce 
100,000 square meters using the least amount of material. So hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching and good luck with all your optimization problems.